four years. Four goddamn freaking years. That's how long it has taken to get to this point. This moment where we finally have the power to say something. Where we finally have the power to do something. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. There's so much to explain. So much to tell you. But where do I begin? I guess we could start from the beginning. Sure, let's do that. Let me take you back to that day. The day when my life changed forever. And the day that this plan really first got set into motion. The day was August 3rd, 2013. But you probably know it better by its biblical name. Downfall X. It was on this day where my entire existence was flipped upside down and my name was tainted forever. For you see, NGC was my creation. I had built that place from the ground up and turned it into a new kind of spectacle. A spectacle unlike any that this community had ever seen before. A place with so much potential that even the almighty FAM feared its rise. In fact, it was feared so much that the almighty Black Heron couldn't bear to see it last. So BH, he got in contact with me and after lengthy talks, he made me an offer that I just couldn't refuse and thus, I sold him all the rights to the NGC brand. The only condition with this offer is that he had to do the place justice. Our rise was monumental and we were coming up on rivaling FAM itself. All that passion, energy and fire had to continue blazing on in my absence. It's what the community wanted. And what happened next? With all his ego and his twisted attitude he did the one thing he promised not to do, and that's kill NGC where it stood, destroying my reputation in an instant. Careers were over, fans were disappointed, connections had been shattered, and not a single lick of blame fell on the shoulders of BH. Some people labeled me the villain, some people just looked at me as a laughing stock. But whatever the case was, I was public enemy number one from that point onwards. And so, I sought to seek revenge on BH for what he did to me on that day. I first infiltrated FAM at Extreme Rules, where I had one goal in mind. Chaos. Cause as much chaos as possible while I worked my way up to get in my hands on BH. I made two mistakes here. The first being the chaos side of things, as chaos is no way to achieve what you want. The only way I was going to achieve my goal of getting my revenge was through order. My second mistake was coming at it alone. FAM is just too big, too gigantic. I was never going to be able to single-handedly take down this empire on my own. So now knowing that I needed order and that I needed backup, the ultimate plan was finally set into motion. First things first, I needed a fresh face. Someone who didn't have a negative reputation already like I did. Someone who could slip into FAM fairly unnoticed. That man was death's notorious angel. Step one was simple, secure, Pandora's box and bring it to me so I could have a binding contract within FAM. All I had to do was hold up my end of the bargain and win so that the contract would remain official. It was at this point in time where the ultimate blessing fell upon us and our plan as a certain someone re-arrived on the scene. That's right, 
Rannick came back, and oh, it couldn't have come at a sweeter time. Rannick's arrival into FAM acted as the perfect distraction. Who cares what Cameron Bash is doing when this monster of a man has a death grip around the throat of FAM? Following Cyber Fam Day, we had two main objectives. The first was to secure as many troops as possible. Soldier number one to join the cause is likely the most screwed over man in FAM history, Anarchimus. I had been watching this guy for quite some time, consistently getting screwed over by the crappy system put in place by the likes of BH, Andy Badwell, Rom and Rannick. Pandora was the final straw for this man. After finally reaching the pinnacle, after finally getting a match for the world championship, he was once again screwed over and cost yet another match. He didn't take much convincing. Anything to change this corrupted system, he was willing to jump on board. AC and Arik, now known as the Britmen, were next to follow. This one was pretty straightforward. Come in at the Royal Rumble, impress the big boss man Rannick, and secure an FAM contract. Of course, I picked these two for a reason. I knew they'd impress. I knew they had what it took to make it into FAM so I knew they'd have no problem getting the job done in the Rumble. Then, I needed to find a woman. For this plan to fully come together, a woman was essential. So I looked far and wide across the community and finally found someone with enough drive to do what would be needed of them. That woman was Jin. Next up was the blazing superstar, Sean Nova. Again, a man who didn't take much convincing. A victim of the FAM system in his own right. You all know his story. To win a Royal Rumble match and not get your main event promise at Faniversary? Disgusting. As soon as Nova was granted a second chance with a match at this Faniversary, I knew I had to get him on board for our cause. And last, but certainly not least, are the wonderful soldiers that we picked up this evening at this very event. The Resurgence. After the year they've had consistently being screwed over by the Skill Foundation, were still forced into the number one spot of their tag team turmoil match. Darren Dastardly. This man wasn't even given a chance as from the get go he was forced into career ending matches. And the wickedly beautiful Elle. She told you all. She told you all that she was ready for this event. Guess I was the only one who listened. With the army gathered, it was time to move on to step two of the plan. Secure the keys, AKA win as many championships as possible. Because you see, championships equal power. As proven by a little incident that took place back in 2011. You remember the one, right? The one where most of the champions left FAM, causing its collapse? What a shame it would be if we had a repeat of that same event. Well, be careful what you wish for, and be sure to tread lightly going forward, because every single piece of gold in FAM exists around one of our wastes. We have all the bargaining chips, so in turn, we are the ones who now call the shots around here. These last two years have been stressful. Keeping everything quiet, making sure nothing gets out about the plan. But we did it. <laughs> we actually did it. It all came together. The goal? Well, if it wasn't already obvious, change is coming to FAM. For too long, these same guys have been able to run amok and get away with whatever they damn well like. Well, we're here to say no more. It's time these old timers were put in their place and that some real young blood rose to the top. No more masks, no more gods. No more same old bullshit. We are the change we wish to see in the world. 
We will rest at nothing to fix this movement. We are ascending with our legacy. We are AWOL. <laughs>